went to 10 years. I had borrowed shoes, but they were two or three sizes bigger than my my, my. <laughs> I had my cousin's shoes, some of them were tight. So I would struggle, I would have more blisters, and I decided I'm tired of wearing other people's shoes. I'm not gonna wear them anymore. Occasionally, I've been getting some calls to do acting. Now, I did not grow up dreaming to be an actor. Not at all. But it's something that along the way, I'm like, okay, well, if I can do it. Like last year, I got a call to, uh, from one of the leading media companies in Singapore to act in a special series. Yeah, thank you. I can feel you like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. You're rooting for me, right? <laughs> thank you very much. Wow. But do you know that? Wow. <laughs> do you know that when I said, when I share that same experience with some other group that are, a little bit envious, I can hear some people groaning, like really unhappy, full of envy. So I'm happy that you are appreciating it. But I asked him, what is the role you want me to play? He said, Nigerian con man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it, I said, well, you know, people usually go to auditions to get roles. Now they're coming to me. Maybe there's something good about me. So I decided, I went and acted. Three weeks later, they call me. He said, oh, Gideon, we've got a beautiful role for you. You're going to love this. It's a nice one. You're going to love this. I said, what role is it? He said, drug trafficker. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. I said, you know what? I need the money, but I don't want to be feeding the same beast that is creating stereotypes about people from other parts of the world. I'm not going to act that role. Even if I need the money, I'm not going to do it. So I turned it down. Like a month or two later, I got another call. They say, oh, Gideon, we know you like a positive role because you're a positive person in the community. So how about we give you a better role with good money? It's a government project. I ask, what role is it? Somalian pirate. <laughs> <laughs> there is a serious flaw in that request. <laughs> I don't even look like a Somalian. <laughs> Somalians are a little skinny, a little tallish, a little grayish. I look pure black. So, you know, I said to them, I don't look like a Somalian. You know, how many times you meet Somalians that look short and stupid like me? No. So I said, I don't think it's for me. They said, no, we really need you. I said, no. I turned it down. Then just two weeks ago, I got another call. Can you imagine? I don't go looking for them. They keep calling. They said, Gideon, you love this. You love this. It's a good role. I said, what role is it? They started saying something like plane, something, hijack or something. I said, no, 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 no. Don't even see. Don't even see. Then they said, no, you are a victim of a plain theft. I said, enough of stereotypes about Africans, I'm not doing this. They said, no, you are the victim, you are not the thief. I said, so who is the thief this time? They said, oh, it's a China man. <laughs> <laughs> Without thinking too hard, I said, you better leave them alone because those are my second cousins. <laughs> True, because like, why you keep stereotyping people all around? I said, enough of all of that. Now, turns out that I ended up doing the role not because I'm happy that they're pointing at somebody else, but because I felt when you act a good part, I have another good part, a diplomat. Who cares about diplomats? There's no notoriety. Nobody talks about that. I dress up, I look good. Who cares about that? Nobody talks about that. But when I act a bad boy role, usually there are <coughs> people that talk about it, my parents, my, the parents of uh, young people that I teach, they talk about it. And I saw, I thought, maybe I should act something a little bit that earned me a bit of notoriety. So what happened was, on that set, the young guy that was acting, the bad guy from China, as a student at NUA, he's doing it happily. He's so happy to be doing it. So it totally changed my perspective about the fact that, you know, here I am, very angry that they're stereotyping people from where I come from. And this young guy from China is happily doing it. He doesn't care. He's just happy to get a bit of notoriety. So also, it depends on the perspective. I have to share that because you are asking, what do I do? First, I'm a trainer, educator. Anything else that I do is a sideline, just like you have a sideline also. So the acting, if you see me in any commercial or any uh, crime watch, please. <laughs> That's not my job. I'm a criminal. <laughs> just a hardworking man uh, trying to earn a living. OK, thank you very, very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I am hoping that if it could work a little bit for me, I'm sure it could work 10 times better for you. So thank you so much. <laughs>